Hello learners. In this lecture, we will see what is wave batching and how it has to be understood. So the wave batch gives a very accurate batching in comparison to the volumetric batching for a very obvious reason. That is because in volumetric batching, we have seen there's a fluctuation in the volume what we have taken. If you're using a bucket, let me do it here. If you're using a bucket, you are, go you are going to get a different volume. If you're going to make use of the Fermat boxes, then you're going to get a different volume. And if you're making use of the uh, pan, what we had seen, no? there also you're going to get a different volume. The volume keeps on fluctuating there, right? But when we go for wave batching, so what actually happens in wave batching? Let us say I have to take 10 kg of a cement, just for example. When I say I want to take 10 kg of a cement, then what is going to happen? I'll be taking 10 kg only with the help of a weigh, with the help of the weighing balance. So 10 kg is 10 kg only. There won't be any fluctuation in that, right? Right. But when we go for the volumetric batching, let us say you want to take 10 kg of a cement, then what will happen uh, in this box that one guy may put for one guy, the 10 kg may come somewhere here uh, in the Fermat box, the volume may even come down, right? So in this way, they have the different proportion. That is the reason uh, we always go with the wave batching since 10 kg remains 10 kg only, and you're going to get the exact measurement in the wave batching. Second is that for all the important work and the major construction projects, wave batching should be used. And usually that is what we use. If you have seen any big construction and all, uh, like metro construction, maybe the bridge construction or even the high rise buildings, whatever it may be, we always, even the road construction and all, we always go with the wave batching only. Now coming to the types in that. So the wave batching can be done by two way. One is by a spring balance. The second is by batching machines. So the spring balance in the sense, this is what is called a spring balance. So in this, what we can do, you know, so this is a spring balance, what we have, and we'll try to attach, let me do it in this way. Let us say, this is a side where the construction is to be, where the construction has to happen, right? And now what we try to, we try to arrange a tripod. Let us say a tripod is a, this kind of arrangement. Okay. And on this tripod, we'll try to hang this, the spring balance we'll try to hang the spring balance through the tripod. Let us say in this way. Yeah. And let me hang it in this way. Right. And for this, I'll try to hang this bucket. Okay. So that I can keep my materials into this. Now, let us say I want to prepare a mix of, let us say one is to two is to four. And in that I found that let us say the same, let us take the same uh, testing. What we had done previously, we had got 2.5 kg of cement. Right. If you remember during the mixed design of slum cone, we had got 5 kg of sand and we had got 10 kg of coarse aggregate. Right. This is what we had got. So what I'm going to do, I'll put this bucket and now I'll put two and a half kg of a cement. So this will give me the reading by the time let us say I filled it completely and it's going to give me a reading of 2.5. That is done. I'll put the, I'll put the cement here. Next, I want sand. I'll fill this bucket again with 5 kg. So it will give me the reading up to 5 kg. Then again, I'm going to pour it here. Then again, I want 10 kg. So just in case if 10 kg is not possible in a single bucket, first we'll measure 5 kg. Okay. And then again, second time again, we are going to measure 5 kg. So altogether I'll get 10 kg. So in this way, you can make use of the spring balance. But again, spring balance is limited for a very small construction. Let us say you want to do a very uh, small amount of concreting is to happen. Then we go with the spring balance. Otherwise, it's, it's, it is also a bit difficult to make use of the spring balance and do the construction. But usually the capacity of this varies from, you know, 40 to 200 kg. This is a, uh, this is a usual uh, spring balance, what is available in the market. It may be even beyond that, but uh, as per the textbook, what I've seen, it is mentioned 40 to 200 kg. This is the capacity of this spring, uh, spring balance. After that, if you get, uh, if you're able to get, uh, if, if, if the spring balance is able to carry more load, then it's okay, right? The next thing, usually what we go is that instead of spring balance, we try to go with the batching machines. Like we have a manual batching machines. We have semi-automatic batching machines and we have automatic batching machines. So uh, in the semi-automatic batching machines, what you have to do, you have to do the uh, feeding of a coarse aggregate, the fine aggregate and all. And once that is done, the machine itself will operate it. You don't have to fill everything. Like you don't have to put cement. You don't have to put only the thing is you have to store it on the uh, plant 
but with the help of a uh, button what you can do is you can you have to switch on the button so as a result of that whatever input you have given let us say you want 2.5 kg of cement so 2.5 kg of cement will automatically flow th uh, flow through that uh, particular bin so in this way the semi automatic batching machine works now coming to the automatic batching machine so this type of batching machines usually is what we found in the construction industry so all these are the automatic batching machines what you can tell so in this everything will be set up here and we'll have a control room here so within a single click if this person gives a click here everything will be arranged here i'll be showing you how it has to be understood so everything all the materials and all will flow on its own and all that uh, processing will happen the concrete will get ready here and finally it will be uh, transported with help of a transit mixer so this is called as automatic batching this is let me go back this is called as automatic batching machines right yeah you can see it here as well so here they have stored the coarse aggregate uh, then they have stored the fine aggregate cement will be stored in these big silos cement you cannot store in this way you have to store them in the uh, silos yeah now what are the precautions that you have to take while doing the way batching so the first is that the machine should be kept on the level ground or a firm ground that is understood so that uh, we are going to make the proper use of the machine the second is the bucket should be clean what the bucket in the sense what i'll go back these are the buckets what we have here right so this has to be frequently clean i mean to put it in a better way a regular maintenance has to be done the surface water in the aggregate is accounted for and allowance is made in the weight of the aggregate and the water yeah this is the advantage of way batching in the volumetric batching we were not considering uh, the bulking of a sand and the uh, wetting of the core segregate but in way batching what happens before we start to, before we make use of this aggregate and all no? we are going to do the testing on this aggregate whether this aggregate has a uh, water content in that or not whether the sand what we are going to use is of uh, is in a dry condition or not if it is not in a dry condition we'll try to arrange certain uh, correction factor called as moisture correction and after that we are going to do the concreting so in this what will happen whatever problem we were facing in volumetric batching that you can compensate with the help of a way batching next is a chart is prepared to indicate the weight of each material per batch for various strength of the concrete so this point i'll be explaining you in the next slide what do you mean by a chart is prepared right so these are the precautions that you need to take or you can say the advantages of using a way batching yeah now so once the concrete is placed once the concrete is ready you are you are going to bring it to the we are going to bring it to the construction site with the help of a transit mixer right so once your transit mixer comes to the site so we are going to weigh the weight of the concrete what we have prepared here so this is called as weigh balance this is called as weigh bridge so and this is the control room so actually what happens whatever is the density of your concrete so based on that we'll try to we'll try to see how much amount of concrete we have in this transit mixer so this are the quality test what we can do uh, when you work for the big construction industry and all right so this is called as wave bridge and this we already seen how it is manufactured and these are called as silos yeah now coming to the fourth point when you go for the automatic batching and all see this is a guy sitting here in a control room okay so here we have certain weight of the materials that we want to use let us say i am preparing a m25 grade of a concrete and i want to prepare 1 cubic meter of the concrete now so if i want to prepare 1 cubic meter of the concrete then i have to make use of cement of acc brand of how much kg 370 kg if i want sand i want to put 827.84 kg of a sand if i want aggregate of 20 mm then we go for 698 kg of 20 mm aggregate and 100 uh, and if it is a 10 mm aggregate we go for 484 kg so usually when we uh, do the construction and all we try to make use of two different kinds of aggregate one is 20 mm that is 10 mm so what will happen there will be well grading and the voids will become less next water you have to add 135 liters of water and then coming to the admixture we already understood what is admixtures and all so here admixture you are going to add 5 so this 5 may be i think it, it it it's in term of percentage or maybe in case of in, in maybe in terms of kg or maybe in terms of liter if i am not wrong maybe in terms of liter it is yeah fine so this is for 1 cubic meter so this is what that they have done the batching here suppose if you want to prepare a concrete of 2 cubic meter then what you try to do instead of uh, instead of following this chart you have to follow this chart let me delete everything 
you have to follow this chart. If you want to prepare a two M cube of concrete, you have to just enter. You can see these are the bins what you can see here and everything will be set up in the system. So this guy has to just pre press on this button. The moment you press on the button and you have to input how much quantity is required. Let us say you, you want two M cube of a concrete. So the moment you click to the moment you input two cubic meter here. So the entire system is uh, prepared in such a way that a, a cement of 740 kg will flow through that machine with the help of a conveyor bed. A sand of 1655 kg is going to come. Aggregate of 1396 kg is going to come. And 10 mm aggregate of 968 is going to come. And water of 270 liters is going to come because we are going to store the water in a tank. And through that tank, the water is going to flow. And everything will come on its own in the batch in the automatic batching plant. So you don't have to do anything. Only a single click here and your concrete gets ready. So once that everything is done, our concrete will be ready. So you can see from here, the concrete will flow and with the help of a transit mixer, we'll do the transportation of that. So this is all about the batching plant and it is all about the uh, how those batching has to be done, right? I hope uh, all these things are clear. In the next lecture, we'll try to see the video of how a vo volumetric batching is done practically on the side and how a wave batching is done practically on the side. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.